frightens me to think what I am for you. But what I am with you consoles me. For you, I am the Bishop of Rome. With you, I am a Christian. Welcome, brother cardinals. We only have one problem. I don't know of any other. The problem is love. You will come to me and you will say, Holy Father, idolatry has taken root in the form of a cult devoted to Pius XIII. There are worrisome currents of terrorism at work within Islam, depressing business concerns weighing on the curia, aberrations of sexual behavior, crises of work and ethics, men who murder women, women who murder their children, you will come to me and you will tell me all the suffering in the world and I will say to you, they are all hysterias of love, distortions of our ability to love. The problem, brothers, is love. The question then is, how are we to love? This is my way with tenderness, without passion. Passion is the eternal enemy of humility. Christian humility, which is frugal, is just and is necessary. Love is an abstraction like intelligence, like happiness. Every time our judgment is beclouded by the ardent passions that consume us, we give love a dangerous concreteness, a scandalous concreteness, an illegal concreteness. In short, we are causing pain to ourselves and to others. Replace that concrete love with tenderness. Or else, my beloved brothers, to my deep regret, I shall be forced to replace you. God does not want that. Only God knows how right and necessary it is for our church to remain united. Jesus explained to us what love is, but we do not have his equilibrium nor his wisdom, but we must try, my brothers, together. I can be a father to you, but you must know that fathers are to be obeyed even when they make mistakes. My beloved cardinals, perhaps we cannot fully express our faith, but we can express our tenderness. It is our hope and our ambition.